In early 2020, it was reported in the press that Meghan's compensation for a voiceover work for Disney's documentary Elephant would be donated to Elephants Without Borders, a US-based non-profit organisation that funds conservation efforts of elephants in Botswana. Many questions remain regarding the final destination of Meg's compensation for Elephant. How much was she paid? Did Disney pay her directly? Was 100% of her compensation donated to Elephants Without Borders? Has Elephants Without Borders actually received any dollars related to this? Megan was accused of stealing money from the elephants. Royal expert Angela Levin is questioning whether Markle kept the reported $3 million for herself or donated it to an elephant charity. She retweeted a rumour that Meghan Markle pocketed $3 million from her work on Disney's Elephants documentary instead of donating it to Elephants Without Borders, as it had been previously reported. Levin shared a remark from the video thread two days later, making a series of unfounded charges against Markle. Angela asked in exchange for Meghan Markle's voiceover, Disney offered to contribute $3 million to the elephant charity, and they claimed it was paid to the Sussexes. Still, the elephant charity does not appear to have received the money. She further added, hashtag Meghan and Harry, and asked, where's the money? Levin retweeted another Royal Watchers retweet. Others doubted if the donation had been made, and others even insisted that Elephants Without Borders had been hardly calm on the subject. She also retweeted a video of the Duke and Duchess at the Lion King premiere held in London in July of 2019. Harry purportedly spoke with Disney CEO Bob Igor about Markle's voiceover abilities. Markle offered her talents to the Elephants documentary a few months later in the fall, and it was reported later in January 2020 that Markle requested that Disney give to Elephants Without Borders instead of remuneration for her efforts. According to Secondhand Coke on Reddit, she fucked up the voiceover. They wanted to pay the charity directly. Megan said no as she wanted Archwell to get the tax credit. Understandable. So allegedly, Disney gave her the sum, then repeatedly asked for proof it had been donated. The proof allegedly never came. So Disney also donated to the elephants. This is the point where they made it clear she was done with Disney by saying Megan needs Disney more than Disney needs Megan. And with that one line, Megan, nor Harry, nor their children will ever work with Disney again, nor their subsidiaries. Say Meghan Markle around a Disney producer and watch them laugh. Then they stop laughing and say, those poor elephants. She fucked up that voiceover. It was so bad. And then she stole the money. She really is a fraud. Lately, Meghan Markle has been told to be quiet for a while by royal expert Angela Levin. When asked on Talk TV what she made of Meghan's latest comments on her podcast archetypes, Angela offered a few stern words of advice for the former actress. Angela expressed her confusion at whether Markle wants a life in the public eye or not. She said, Well, I think Meghan has wanted to be so private, now wants to do an A to Z of everything that she's like, everything she's been called, every bit of her life, and you know, she's sort of now relying on the odd word giving her view on it. The best thing Meghan should do, according to Levin, simmer down for a bit. Angela continued, I think she should just be quiet for a while and get on with her life. Stop hanging on to her royal titles and using, you know, the crown on a notepaper. And I think she's getting really boring. You know, find something really interesting, you know. Find an area in your life that's not just about you. 